Welcome to Estoril for the first of seven rounds and 14 races that will make up the 2017 International GT Open season. It's a huge field entered for this year and some very, very strong driver and team combinations. We should be in for some brilliant racing. So let's take a look back at the very best at the start of the season. Position, although Albert Costa anticipated to the start very nicely as well, with Con Ledegaard trying to fight his way up into second place as the pack fought their way through the first turn. It's remarkably clean in the early stage of the race, with Fran Away, one of the only drivers to have any sort of a moment in the early running, as at the front of the pack, Rob Bell and Con Ledegaard were able to ease away from Albert Costa behind. There was some great race, not least, between Mario Farnbacher and Tom Onslow Cole. A rich and varied field opens itself up to some very close dicing. Some racing Lamborghini was one of several cars to get in amongst the wars, in amongst the thick of the action. Post pit stops, it was Alex West who was leading the way from Sean Bell from the front villa when it all got very close. The Swiss driver able to make the move on Bell for second place into turn one, but as they Headed towards turn two, West slithered wide, and that promoted from Villa and Costa in the Lexus to the lead of the race. Thereafter, from Villa was able to pull clear of Sean Bauer. So it was a debut victory for Albert Costa Philip from Villa in the Emil Frey Racing Lexus. Second place and Pro-Am win for Sean Bauer and Rob Bell in the Bell for McLaren from the Garage 59. McLaren of Alex West and Com Ledegaard with Nono Figueredo and Marcio Basso claiming GTM honours. We were not expecting that, to be honest. We, we started the car this Monday. Uh, we, were, we were quite quick, but as I said, no, we didn't expect that. And uh, we win the race, thanks to all the team, especially to him for the amazing thing he did. Uh, I have no words, you know. Thank you for everybody who have lived with me until here. First win for, for the brand new car. So we are looking forward. Um, I, think, I think now we enjoy the moment uh, with everybody involved. So uh, we have a great team and want to say thank you to them. So uh, yeah, but now I think we just uh, enjoy the moment and let's see what we're going to do this year. It's a great result, great start for the team. Rob has been impeccable all day. The McLaren's performed brilliantly. It's always been strong at Estoril. Uh, so it was great to get the job done. We were never quite sure, first race of the year, how it's going to go. Uh, dream start, what can I say? Fantastic. The Lexus uh, was, was very strong, so it, it deserved the win. Hey, look, this series is very competitive, very competitive. And like Sean said, I think it's obvious we have a small advantage in Estoril. I don't expect that to be in every circuit. So tomorrow we're going to just do our best and make the most of when this, the circuit suits the car and uh, we will just do our best for sure. Foi a primeira vez aqui, primeira vez na GT Open. É, gostei muito, uma prova muito legal. É, vocês estão de parabéns. Voltaremos. Tomorrow is another race, uh, another qualifying, so uh, it was good to, to to have a good race today and to, to get this over. The first race is always the complicated one because the first time for us here, uh, first time with this team, first time with this car. So a lot of things can go wrong. Uh, we have a lot to learn still. So tomorrow maybe we can do a little bit better. In changeable conditions, it was Duncan Tappy who led away at the start of race two. Getting the jump on Dominic Farbacher as they headed towards turn one. Also well away was Michael Meadows. Somehow, they made it cleanly through the early stages, despite it being a little bit slippery and very tight. It was a race characterised by some fantastic dicing throughout the field as the likes of Mikel Mack in the spirit of race Ferrari tried to carve up through the field. Figueredo presented pretty stiff opposition. So eventually, Matt was able to sneak past at turn one. Post pit stops, Jordan Wick shut the door a little bit too late for Mara Calamir, 
that made life a lot easier for Albert Costa as Rob Bell starts to try and move their way up through the field. So Dunbar had a quick spin. So charging the train away, they're en route to a top 10 finish. Front of the field, though, was the far back of racing Lexus that was well clear with Venturini and Benham doing battle for second position. It's behind Marco Ciocci. Side through up to an eventual sixth place finish. And Rob Bell in the Balfour Motorsport McLaren, a great drive past Miguel Ramos late on to claim fourth. This was the move that decided second place, however. Venturini to the inside of Mike Benham. But out front, Dominic Camaro Farmbacker dominating the race, particularly the second half of it, and eventually the Farmbacker Racing Lexus winning by over 23 seconds from Venturini and Biaggi second in the Imperiali Racing Lamborghini with Mike Benham and Duncan Tappy third for Garage 59 claiming the Pro-Am class win. It was nice, uh, the start was quite uh, normal, I mean, uh, Mr. Tappy was very, very nice and uh, we, I tried to follow him, uh, Miss McLaren was doing very strong. I tried to follow him as, as good as I can and to save the tyres for Mario. That was my strategy and uh, yeah, Mario did, did a very well job towards the end to keep the pace and uh, yeah, two, two Lexus victories in one weekend is pretty good. It seems it's uh, the right machine to have this year. I hope so. I mean, uh, we, we had a developing program uh, the, la the last two years with this car and uh, we had uh, good progress and um, finally we kept some victories out of it and it's pretty good and it stays for the name Lexus. You know, obviously uh, Duncan did an absolutely amazing stint so for me it was really about just uh, trying to preserve what he'd created and just not make any mistakes. It was a bit of a shame to just not been able to battle with the Lambo for the second overall. Um, but yeah, no, it was great. It was, uh, it was a really enjoyable day, really enjoyable drive. Amazing, absolutely amazing. What do you expect for Spa Franco Shams in one month's time? We've been strong there in the past. Uh, we've tested there over the winter, so we should know where we are. It's a place we both, we both love driving. You know, it's Spa, it's, it's a special place. And uh, the, the car is really good around there, so hopefully much of the same. The race was really good fun, but quite demanding because I got really a lot of pressure from the back. But yeah, I'm learning a lot. I could improve my lap times during the race with tires not working really well. But yeah, great fun. I think the Mercedes is a little bit too slow on the straight. We lose about four or five kilometers, but we speak about uh, the engineers here. And maybe the next race we have a, a better bob. So it's very difficult. Uh, but it's a lot of fun, GTO will be like it.